And now you're entering the heart and soul of our place. This is our 1947 Middle B Marshall oven, six shelf carousel. Here are some of our fresh made bagels right now. Some sesame seeds, some beautiful onion. Look at us. Woo! Look at that smoke. Nice and crispy crust. Utopia bagel. They say we're best in New York, though. No, we're best in the world. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Can you say your name for me and where we are today? My name is Scott Spellman, and we're at Utopia Bagels, located in Whitestone, Queens, 19th Avenue, and Utopia Parkway. Welcome to my house. I grew up in Brooklyn, moved into Howard Beach uh, in my teenage years, and I worked at a bagel store. Uh, later on in life, uh, I met my present wife, who grew up in Whitestone, and she brought me to Utopia Bagels, which it was undoubtedly, in my mind, the best bagel I ever had. Over time coming to the place, I met the owner and my present partner, Anthony, Anthony Pantaleo. Anthony always suggests, hey, why don't you come help me out, manage? But my life has always taken a lot of different turns. I've been in so many different businesses. Probably about 10 years ago, maybe nine to be exact, Fresh Direct approached him and wanted him to make a frozen bagel package. And Anthony is very old school style type of guy. Boxes we gotta keep in store for the massive amount of orders we get from Fresh Direct. And he really didn't understand how to get this produced or how to make it. He approached me, and when I heard Fresh Direct, I was like, of course. I was like, I got this one. And lo and behold, Nine years later, we have eight different products with our label on it, selling at Fresh Direct. So it's uh, come full circle with me eating here, working with the owner, and now actually becoming a partner. I did it the old school way like we do it here. Hard work. Guys, I'm shutting the music down for a reason, okay, guys? You see a nice crisscross on both sides. You hear that knock? And then you see that beautiful steam coming out of there. And of course, that crunch. Mm. Incredible. Now we're getting ready to make the mix for Fresh Direct. Come on. Yeah, so, you know, we start with a, a, a very old school mix but along with the flour, you have salt, you have New York water. We're adding yeast, and we add another thing called liquid malt. Old school, costs more, uh, much more flavor, especially in the fermentation process. Again, I say this all the time, if, if it was just the water, there's four other bagel stores around me, they would produce a bagel as well as we do. The real reason our bagels are so soft and crispy on the outside is the hand rolling. Henry is a, what I would call a master roller. Been rolling bagels over 25 years. And if you could see, the way and the shape is tremendous. Henry will roll a whole rack of over 1,000 bagels, and each one will literally weigh the same. What's most important is right here. You can't take away the heart. You can't take away the soul of what we do with our bagels. We'll let them sit in refrigeration up to 24 hours. Sometimes it's up to 48 hours. My preference, I love a bagel at about 36. It holds up in the water better. And the timing inside the kettle depends on how quick you take it out of that fridge. And really what I'm looking for, actually feeling for, is a feel on this paddle. So a lot of people say, well, how long? It really matters what these look like. That's why I'm talking about the heart and soul. If your head isn't in the game, you're not gonna be the best bagel. You gotta put seeds on both sides. These bagels are gonna go around one time, and we're gonna flip them. And yes, they're hot. No shortcuts when we come to our frozen bagels or our fresh. So we're baking them fresh, we're cooling them, and then we're gonna bring out our bags and pack them, pack them in the boxes and start to freeze them. It's the real thing, hand rolled, kettle boiled, 
made the old school way.